Hello all. Welcome to the tutorial series on the various industry standards and this video is on ISO 55000 and ISO 55001. In this video, we shall understand the ISO 55000 family of standards, their objectives, their benefits and also their alignment with other ISO standards. Let's get started. ISO 55000 is a standard developed for the use of people or organizations involved in asset management. Let's first see why is this required and why it is important. As asset is defined as something that has the potential or actual value to an organization. Additionally, effective and efficient asset management enables an organization to achieve its vision and objective. The application of an asset management system provides assurance that those objectives can be achieved consistently and sustainably over the time. Asset management allows an organization to examine the need for, and performance of, assets and asset system at different levels. Aligning the asset management objectives with the organizational objectives, as well as linking asset reports, can improve the organization's effectiveness and efficiency. Now let's understand ISO 55000. Well, you or the team responsible in your organization might be managing your organization's assets effectively, efficiently and responsibly for their whole life cycle. ISO 55000 asks you to prove it. ISO 55000 is an international standard covering management of assets of any kind. Before it, a publicly available specification, PAS 55, was published by the British Standards Institution in 2004 for physical assets. This standard was developed by ISO Technical Committee ISO, TC 251. ISO 55001 was published for the first time in January 2014. Moving on, well for maximizing the life cycle return on investment for capital assets without compromising on safety or risking the environment is critical in today's complex multi-stakeholder situations. How can you demonstrate you have embedded asset management best practice and differentiate your organization from others? The answer is ISO 55000 standard. ISO 55001 is a framework for an asset management system that will help your business to proactively manage the life cycle of your assets from acquisition to decommission. This system helps you to manage the risks and costs associated with owning assets, in a structured, efficient manner that supports continual improvement and ongoing value creation. The ISO 55000 family of standards comprises of three standards. First is the ISO 55000, which specifies the overview, the concepts, and the terminology in asset management. Next we have is ISO 55001 that defines the requirements for a management system for asset management. And at last, we have ISO 55002 that provides interpretation and implementation guidance for such a management system. Let's understand the main requirements of the standard. The ISO 55001-2014 adopts the ISO high-level structure in 10 chapters in the following breakdown. 1. Purpose. 2. Reference standards. 3. Terms and definitions. 4. Organization context. 5. Leadership. 6. Planning. 7. Support. 8. Operating activities. 9. Performance evaluation. 10. Improvement. Moving on. Let's see what are the benefits of ISO 55001. An asset management system enables a structured, best practice approach to managing the life cycle of assets. Additionally, it reduced risks associated with ownership of assets that is anything from unnecessary maintenance costs and inefficiency to accident prevention. It even helps with new business acquisition. As stakeholders gain confidence from the knowledge that a strategy is in place to ensure assets meet the necessary safety and performance requirements. Other main benefits include Improved financial performance Managed risk Improved services and outputs Demonstrated social responsibility Demonstrated compliance Enhanced reputation Improved organizational sustainability 
and improved efficiency and effectiveness. Let's now see its alignment with other standards. The ISO 55000 family of standards aligns and is suitable for integrating with other major management systems. These include ISO 9001 for quality management, ISO 14001 for environmental management, ISO 18000 for occupational health and safety, and ISO 31000 for risk management. The ISO 55000 family is the first management system standard to implement the new ISO Annex SL, providing a consistent basis for all management systems and enabling better integration and coordinated monitoring, audit and certification. Other management system standards are being reorganized also to align with this new template. I hope the content was useful. Please don't forget to like the video if you liked it. Also. Please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.